Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. It's a beautiful box bag. I don't know what you'd call it. I'd call it a bag, but it might be a box because it's made of cardstock. I don't know, but it's beautiful and I love it. And I'm going to show you how to make it. So, finished dimensions, two and five eighths of an inch, two and five eighths of an inch, six inches which is six and a half by six and a half by 15 centimetres. And I will say this at the beginning because I never remember to. All of the instructions are on my blog. If you click open the description bar, that's down there, mm -hmm. click it open and it will, there will be a link there that takes you directly to this project. So what do you need? You need a piece of cardstock that's eight by 11 inches, which is 20 by 28 centimetres. Now this one is smoky slate with the tone on tone. I'm going with tip top tote this time. Thought I'd be a little bit different. And I've got my Foxy Friends stamp set. It's so lovely. Not a single word in there. Lots of images. So I've got this one and I've got this one ready. And they're quite a lot bigger than they show on here because actually this is two sheets of stamps and they are quite a lot bigger than the images on the outside. So I've got my little swirled over image and I've got some tip top tape ink already and this is on a this is an eye block so just randomly stamp anywhere you fancy just stamp all over doesn't matter which direction it goes in I will turn and put that bit at the bottom I think because I've just splodged but it's okay you know we can fix the splodge but yeah, just randomly stamp all over. Have a bit of a bash, have a go. There we go. And I'm gonna turn that around to the bottom while I remember, because I've got a little sploosh. And then I've got my little one here. And just fill in some gaps. What block is this? This is a blee, a blee block. It's not a blee block at all, it's a B block. How cute! Do I need any more anymore? One there, why not? Okay, so grab my score tool. And so 8 by 11, 20 by 28 centimetres. So on the long side, we're going to do full scores first, then we're going to do part scores. So score it at 2 and 5 eighths of an inch, 5 and a quarter, 7 and 7 eighths of an inch, and 10 and a half inches, which is 6 and a half, 13. 19 and a half and 26. Now we need to put some part scores in, which are these ones here. So just hover your finger around the four and a half inch mark, so that's going to be about 12 centimeters, and score in at one and a quarter inches. And just stop there, so it's a part score, and then do the same again over here at six and a half. And in metric, that is three and a quarter centimetres and 16 and a quarter centimetres. And then turn it round to the right so that these parts are all at the top and my little sploosh is down here at the bottom and score it at two inches, which is five centimetres. So the bottom doesn't completely meet up, but I actually wanted it to be tall. That was my thing. But it doesn't meet up, that's fine. You, it still, still remains sealed. I'm gonna try not to drop my scoring tool today. Okay. So fold and burnish your score lines. Ignore the part scores. They will naturally go when you pull it all together and close it up. Okay. So that's the top. That's the bottom. We need to take away this part here. Oh, I've got all sorts on my desk today. So take that one away so that you're left with that. And then just cut these three score lines straight up. And take a tiny little, tiny little bit off there. Okay, so run some adhesive down here. So fuse or, not snail, fuse or liquid glue or tear and tape. Something like that. Fold it over and it will meet up. This is the back, so you bring two sides in, put some adhesive on the back, so I'm just going to flip it over to do that. And the same with what will be the front, put some adhesive on that one as well. And that, I've done that because it, it doesn't meet up, but it will do. 
bone fold down inside to close it up. So this is the front of the box. And when you push in with the sides, these scored lines are going to, they're going to fold in naturally. And just line it up. It's off by about a sixteenth of an inch. But when you line it up like that with your fingers, it still stays beautifully scored there. What I need now, and I didn't get it out, let me just reach around the camera, is a small punch. Is that the right size? So that I can get this twine to go round and stay in place. So just near the top, and I'm not punching a whole circle, I'm, I'm punching sort of half a circle. Oh! Can you see that? So I'm punching just a little wedge out. So not a full circle, just a little, little bite out of the side. And that is so when I bring my baker's twine in, whoops, it won't slip, but it will stay closed. So I'm just going to manhandle this down onto the table. You can tie it really quite tight as well. There we go, see? box closed and it will just slip off on and off quite easily as well how cute love it okay let me put those off to one side because I actually I want to put um I want to stamp my bits on the front so I've got a two pieces of cardstock here this is two uh two inches by three and an eighth which is uh five centimeters by eight and this one is one and seven eighths of an inch by three which is four and a half by seven and a half. Now on the original, I've actually got DSP on there um, because it was the reverse of this almost. We don't have DSP in the tip top tape that's part of that suite. So, you know, we're gonna kind of wing it a bit. And I've got a different stamp set here. This one perfectly wrapped and I want the gift and I want a little as well. So I'm gonna stamp the gift on first. There it is, let's grab a block. And this is another B block. Oh, I forgot I had two. Different colours, that was Melon Mambo. I'm coming in with Flirty Flamingo this time, just for a little bit of difference, just for a little bit of bright, just for a little bit of pretty. On there, and then, I suppose I could have gone with a pink mushroom or something. And I'm gonna grab this image again, which is one I've used before. And up there and down there and I do like the mushrooms they are ridiculously cute there's three of them but I want the two that are open which are those two and I want my super tiny block which is an A block so small and cute perfect for little things one of, one of those down there there we go and I've got my stamp and scrub off to one side. And this one up here, I want to leave room to write a little. So let's get rid of that. And this says a little. And what I've got here is I've got a scrap of cardstock because I want to cut it to size by hand. So I'm going to go down in the bottom corner. And then you need a big pair of scissors to do this, or I find I need a big pair of scissors, because you can just cut in one go and get the right shape. There we go, so we get rid of all of those bits and put those back in the case before I lose them. Put this all together. So, a little bit of snail on here. And I'm going to have a dimensional on the back of there. I did have the dimensionals out. I put them away. Let me get another pack. One in the middle there to elevate that. So it says a little gift. You could put some nice little chocolates in there or something like that. Something yummy. Candles maybe. Bath bombs. All sorts of things. It's a great size bag for that. 
and then onto the front and get your nice little matching border all the way around and that is my little gift using foxy friends and a little bit of perfectly wrapped what do you think cute huh anyway thank you ever so much for joining me hope to speak to you soon